Hey love folks, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for, you know, just riding with me through my journey of self-discovery and being able to learn myself on every level you know and being able to share that experience with everyone is truly a blessing so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while i have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell and so you can be able to know when i'm about to upload my next video also if you are uh, comfortable enough please drop me a line or two I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact the gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also um, if you feel like the video is giving you very good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a fellow empath that are going through some really trying times right now and um, you know needing confirmation towards their their soul path or even their soul uh, journey uh, please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again for the love and support it's so greatly appreciated and I hope you're able to uh, resonate with the content of my video and today my um my meditation music I'm listening to in the background I had to turn it down a little bit because it got kind of loud um it's called positive vibes 432 hertz miracle music healing detox your mind and your heart positive energy uh cleanse and today my video is about strawberry uh the strawberry moon face have lifted veils to other unknown gifts and other gifts have heightened which is totally true um i've got a, in touch with a few love bugs over the last like 24 to 48 hours and it's just like so crazy because when i can talk to somebody on a one-on-one -on -one when i'm doing empath you know counseling um and it's just like the more I'm seeing things, the more I'm more connected to this person with, you know, that soul connection. Um, I start seeing more things in their life that they need to know about themselves or things that they need to pay attention to. And I'm like, whoa, usually I do this is when I'm channeling or if I'm touching a picture of yours and you're wanting me to see, you know, things you like, Rosalind, do you see something in my future? Or Rosalind, do you see things that I need to pay attention to? A lot of people always ask me that or arousing these things came um came up into my dreams or these things have came to me in my daydreams what's the advice so it's just like now it's starting to come more natural to me and i'm just like whoa wait a minute like i can start feeling vibrations more vibrations between the crown the third eye penal gland um and the heart chakra um a lot of people have been dealing with like different vibrations that are coming up and it's making them shake or you know they'll start seeing it from the palm of their hands um it's just like when I did my first video, light was, you know, kept flashing in, in the computer. I had that happen to me every once in a while. It just depends on where my energy is projecting, you know, if it's like all over the place and it's like not all over the place, but it's very powerful at that hot time, heightened, and it's helping me channel whatever universe wants me to come down to. And I was wondering what was going on today. I said, it is going to rain and it's about to come down. So I don't know if I'm going to do any more videos after this one, but I'm going to try my best too. It just depends on the weather. Um, I just don't really like doing <laughs> videos and stuff when it's thunderstorming because I mean it really looks like it's about to act crazy uh, here but yes it's just like um, a lot of people we've been dealing with things it's like the Neptune things are coming from the vibes are coming from Neptune so um, all these different things is allowing your uh, your other gifts that probably were unknown to you at the time like I tell people anybody who comes in contact with me or starting to come to my channel obviously it's like don't be surprised if you just know one or two gifts about yourself and all of a sudden other things starting to spew out like it's like especially when I get, get in contact with people I'm like oh you got more than this that's going on with you and it's just like it seems like universe is I ask the universe hey can you send these people towards my way so that I can help them you know give them make sense of the things that they you don't know, don't have the courage to ask other people because you never know how people are going to take you because I was like that at first if, if I don't know if you're fully awakened I'm not about to discuss anything with you because I want you thinking I'm crazy I've had that situation happen to me before because if somebody is not all the way awakened they were looking at you like this this chick is crazy so you know going through all these things is so beautiful to me because it allows me to help others 
that are confused along their journey. You know, a lot of times we can go through different spiritual attacks just trying to let it allow us to see the things we need to see about ourselves. It'll make you feel like you're having a mental breakdown. Your life is falling apart. People are starting to distance themselves from you. Other than that, they're distancing themselves away from you as well as thinking something is wrong with you. Well, you like I tell people, if they're not fully awakened in that awakened state, they will think that something's wrong with you. And so it allows you to think that you have some mental illness, you know, it can be bipolar or schizophrenic or, you know, manic depressive or bipolar. It's just all these different things they will, they will try to label you as when it's actually a gift that is just like the switch is just popped. You know, a lot of things are being activated that was not activated before. You probably get like little snippets, you know, you, when things start happening that's kind of off, you either start daydreaming or it'll make you discombobulated <laughs> or it's just like it'll have vibrations coming through your body like a lot of times i get hot cold flashes or when something comes in i'm able to see about somebody i get chills like it starts from my head to my back and it'll come rolling off my hands and it's like every hair you know starts standing up and it's just like it's really crazy but this is like the strawberry moon was able to uh, allow a lot of things to come forth for you. You know, there's a lot of things that you might not have known about yourself that are starting to come forward. And it can be quite scary if you're not understanding what is projecting out towards you. You know, there's a lot of people that didn't know that they were inner psyches. They were able to have that sixth sense of seeing beyond, you know, in the spiritual realm, people that are passed away already. It can be scary if you're not, you know, if you haven't experienced that before. I did that when I was little. But now it's like, you know, when I went along my journey and being able to help others that way, you know, it was like shocking to me, like, you know, these things coming out. And they were like, well, I was like, how do you know this about me? I'm like, look, you know, you're... Your spirit guides allowed me to see that about you, you know, or and as soon as I said that, you know, my phone lit up. Um, and plus, you know, if, if it's like your your spirit of people that your loved ones that they feel comfortable around me, they'll leave me messages just be able to let you know, hey, I've been there. You know, there'll be certain things that only you and you well enough alone would know that this happened, if, especially if nobody else is in the room. And they want you to know that, like, hey, I was there. You know, even though you might not hear me, hey, I was there. So it's just like a beautiful thing that you're going through. And it might be confusing. It might be scary at times, especially if you're not used to these things happening. But it's like we have layers of veils that are coming off. You know, I thought there was just one big one, but no, there's a few. <laughs> so they're not trying to load everything on you all at one time because it can really take you aback if you're not really used to these things. Like, I'm a what, what? You know, there are so many different things that, you know, they have told me and they were like, well, we can all unload these things on you out. What? You're still dealing with this situation on who you, your true identity is and what you are and who you're related to. That was enough. So we allowed you to deal with that for a while and then dump the other stuff on you and then, it, you know, going around the thing and dumping something else on you. So they're not trying to dump everything on you out at once. But these phases that we're going through, the equinox, um, the full moon. Uh, what was the other one? The crescent moon we just had. And then I knew there was something coming because it was just, I was just really irritable. You know, just couldn't sleep, uh, cramping a lot, you know, going through all these different things. I was like, my body was feeling changes. And it's just like, you will go through a hot and cold phase. You probably had a sweaty phase, like you woke up drenched in sweat, um, having very intense dreams, you know, feeling like, you know, you're seeing stuff from a different eye. Um, let me see what else vibrations vibrations on that um things that you know you weren't quite aware of yourself and it's probably gave you a little bit of shocker <laughs> so it's just like it's allowing different phases for you to um different not different phases but different veils to come off of you that they're allowing you to see things from a different perspective allowing you to get in touch but that that gift that you are not used to so i told you i was about to start raining and i felt that thunder shake my whole bed so um and all those different things that are going on in your life that you know your impact and i told a lot of people you know like it was like about a few months ago about three four months ago i was telling you you know i'm starting to see empaths like being activated left and right it's just the energy they're sucking from you is already so powerful it's folding dimensions and making you know multiverses and you know you know uh omniverses and all these different things so your your energy is very powerful more than you probably even know so uh 
just be looking at it, it's going to be getting more intense, you know, probably by the day or even the week. Um, so the more you practice on it, I tell you, anybody, you know, write down the things that seem different to you. Um, meditate. When you meditate, if there's things that you need, you need concerns off of because of those things, you know, ask the universe, you know, and they will give you the answers or they will definitely guide you towards it. So I hope you were able to uh, resonate with the content of this video. Much love to you. I hope everybody has a blessed week, prosperous week. Um, let me know if you are resonating with this. Let me know if you, you know, if you feel like another veil has came off. You feel a lot different than, you know, you're used to. Or, you know, you've been feeling these different vibrations as well as hot, cold flashes. You know, your hands are getting kind of shaky or you feel nervous at times or even heart palpitations. Those are, uh, you know, known indicators that something is changing with you and well as well. We're all going through this different transformation and things that we're not used to as of yet. But there's more of this, this going to come. So drop me a line. Let me know if you resonate. Give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. Um, like you dropped me a line, I'll go ahead and give you a shout out. Uh, send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. Knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. You never know. Your kind words can really take somebody a long way. So, much love to you. Peace. Be wild.